We are so excited to welcome our next guest. He is one of the stars of the new Apple TV Plus hit show, High Desert. He's loved all over the world, especially right here in the Ozarks, from Lake of the Ozarks, Springfield, Branson. Please welcome Brad Garrett. How is everyone in Branson? Everybody in the Ozarks loves you, Brad. We yes. love you. Yes, absolutely. God bless you. I don't, I don't hear that often. You, you sure you don't have me mistaken for uh, Ray Romano? <laughs> I'll tell you how over we're, the career is. Sure. People are starting to think I'm Kramer. That's how <laughs> over my career is. I swear to God, I got that at the airport. Brad, thank you so much for taking the time with us this morning. Now, listen, Maddie and I have both watched High Desert. Uh, we love it. But could you tell us a little bit about your character and how it is working with the amazing Patricia Arquette? Yeah, she's, uh, she's uh, quite exceptional in anything she does. She's uh, brilliant in comedy and drama. And uh, this show is really a mix of that. You know, it's, it, it's a very uh, dark comedy. Uh, about uh, Patricia's character that's dealing with uh, grief and addiction and the hopes of sobriety, and uh, she's a criminal on top of it. So it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, my character is at a very desperate point in his life. His uh, private investigating business is pretty much on fumes, and he's hard, starting to have to sell some of his personal items on eBay. And they both kind of meet each other at the bottom of, the, uh, of their life. And I think that's what kind of makes them uh, kind of team up. Because how bad can it get is what I think to myself until I let Patricia into my world. And then uh, it's just a blast. So, Brad, I wanted to ask, Patricia Arquette's character is this lovable menace and so chaotic. Have you ever personally experienced or worked with anyone like her character? Uh, like her, you know, I really haven't worked with, a, uh, I don't work a lot. I, I think we all know that. We can let that out of the box. Oh. Um, but it's, you know, it's the writing that really attracts you, obviously. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm such a fan of Patricia's. And when I read this, I was incredibly humbled that they came to me. Thank goodness the other choices were unavailable. And um, I just went, wow, this would, this would be great. But she is really just... She has an uncanny way as an actor of taking something very zany and broad and grounding it in reality. And um, it's just really a true gift because there are people like this. This character was, was drawn uh, uh, from, from someone uh, who was actually a sister of one of the writers in real life. So they knew it would take someone like a Patricia Arquette to really have that essence of someone that is struggling with some very serious things, but refuses uh, to, to take it seriously, which a lot of people are like that. The set must have been very fun. Are there you know, any like, behind the scenes stories of you working with Patricia? Are you and the rest of the cast? Because it seems like you'd have such a great time on set. You, you know, we really, we really did have a, a, a great time. Jay Roach, you know, directed it, uh, who's just terrific. But we were really, you, you know, v very serious. There was, uh, you know, I did show up in Matt Dillon's trailer, and uh, that, that didn't go over great. And I, I said, uh, you know, I loved, I loved you in The Breakfast Club. And he said, uh, I wasn't in The Breakfast Club. And then there was a restraining order. But everything is good. I get dressed now kind of in my car uh, off to the side in the desert, and, and people knock on the truck and say, uh, we need you in five. So it's a little different than I expected, but uh, uh, I'm not as touchy-feely as I used to be, which is what they're asking. <laughs> you know, I came up in a different time, you know, when you could, you yeah. could say and do things. And, and right now it's, uh, you know, it's, it's different. Well, Brad, anything you can tease about the rest of the season or maybe possible season two? Well, uh, we don't know anything about a season two. I will tell you that in the uh, finale, uh, none of us are wearing pants. <laughs> Love it. Yes. So, well, that's uh, something to look forward to then. I don't know how that'll work for season two. I'm sure there are some counties in Missouri that'll love that. <laughs> uh, but, uh, Actually, yeah. you're not wrong. Exactly. Yeah. Brad, thank you so much for your time. The show is fantastic. We wish you all the best. Uh, it's a pleasure to speak with you, sir. Brad, thank you so much. Take care. Thank you.
How great is he? So funny. That all was the so cool. just the randomness of it all. I love it. I loved it. It's kind of funny because we'd had that in the script, and then all of a sudden Brad Garrett comes on, and Kaylee and Tom were both like, Brad Garrett? Yeah, <laughs> like, that's him. That's uh, him? Got to remember to look ahead, I guess. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, I Brad, love Brad Garrett. Everybody loves Raymond. Of course, yep. he'll go down in the books as being one of the just great actors of that series. And did a lot of other stuff, too, and now he's starting to get in more active now. Um, his Later Jimmy John's commercials. Hey, uh, Jimmy Love John's him commercials. in the Jimmy John's yes. commercials. Yep. <laughs> and High Desert. I'm thinking about doing a retro rave review. Okay. Because I never watched Everybody Loves Raymond ever when it was on. You need to. Because in my... The time in my life when I was doing, I just, it didn't work. I did, was maybe too young or just didn't identify with that. But I've seen reruns recently. Like, I finally watched, like, a full episode. I'm uh -huh. like, this show's really funny. It's you, pretty good. You should do a retro one. I should do a retro review of Everybody Loves Raymond. I need to start watching it from the beginning because <laughs> well, there's like, a lot funny. of seasons. I would say just get a little in, ingrained. And what about, like, some of the things you post on TikTok from, like, the old school? Yeah. Like sitcoms and all that. That I would love be fun. Old I've seen some of those too. Yeah. Yeah. I love some old on. school sitcoms for yeah. sure. My dream was to be like. Do you remember that show? Um, that there was a movie called Pleasantville with Reese Witherspoon. Yes. Oh, I love that. I love that movie. That, like, if I could do any, be in any movie, it would be that, because I want to go back to Pleasantville. Like, when they get sucked into the TV, I used to dream about getting sucked into a sitcom like Three's Company. Uh huh. Or, or Happy Days or something. It's like, I want to be a part oh, of this world. Yeah. Yeah. I would. Okay, good. Pop quiz then. Yes. Any sitcom that you want to be in that world, go. Which sitcom would you pick? If you could just be in that world and be in, in that. Because, yeah, I would probably pick, like, Three's Company okay. or Bewitched. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Um, Can you think of a show? Yeah, I think I'd do Golden Girls. <gasps> oh, that's a good one, too. <laughs> yeah, or, or Happy Days. That's a good one. Tom. I was gonna say Happy Days is good. I'm thinking, like, old, like, maybe Andy Griffith show. Oh, uh, if that's that is so Tom. Uh, maybe, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, Classic you just sitcom. be fishing every day. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Small time life. Yeah. <laughs> there you go.